The fifth and final stage of workflow is NC Code and concerns itself with the toolkit area and the generation of the CNC program. The review kit command will allow you to inspect the specific tooling selected for this particular component. You are permitted to edit the selected tool. Here I can change the turret ID, say to a different number. If I were to close and regenerate, the number would now be altered in the sequence. Moreover, Workflow will allow you to edit the pre-selected tool. Switch off Associative, disengage Use Filters, and now you're free to select any tool within the EdgeCam tool library. Our next stage is the Job Report, which provides documentation about the part and takes the format of an internet file. EdgeCam broadcasts the file live, meaning that the manufacturing data is always up to date and the file can be accessed through any internet enabled device. There are numerous facets to the job report. You can search for a file based on the customer or on the family, this is like a group, or the status. Also you can simply type a word into the search field. Here I've typed the word FANUC. The display list will now only show files with that word within them. This file is the file that we have been working on. As the file opens, let me draw your attention to the top right hand side where you can drill down to specific areas of information. The tool list provides presetting information indicating each tool deployed on the part. Job instructions will provide a breakdown of each cam instruction including cycle time. There is actually a third area called job image, but this is only present if the job report contains an image. To create an image, move back to Workflow, select File, and then Save Job Image. Now you can type in the name. This will be the name of your image. Move back to Job Reports, and having refreshed the report, you will now see the Job Image area. As we click the field, we can see the images. And if you actually click on the limit, image, you can enlarge the picture. As we return to workflow, our last and maybe most important concern is generate NC. This is where the CAM instructions are passed through the post processor. The resultant NC files load into EdgeCAM's editor. Here you may scroll and scrutinize the CNC program. Inspect the commands across the horizontal bar. It contains many functions. One function is split the screen. Here we can see multiple windows. Now we can see the search and find routines. Search for a word or you can search or go to in this particular case a specific line number. Finally we see the add sequence and resequence functions. This concludes the tutorial.